everyone, here comes another video of Export Matters series only on ISBR's official YouTube channel. So we have one of the most interesting guests with us today. He's an author and is leading an e-commerce startup, bringing years of experience in customer service operations and business transformation. So let me welcome Mr. Gautam Bora. Welcome, sir. Welcome to video series. We're so glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this series is for management students who are looking forward to build their career in management and are confused a bit about which field to choose, where to pursue their dreams. They have a little hope, they have little desires, so many aspirations altogether. But to clear their mind and to make their career a wider perspective, we have come up with series and we are going to ask you a lot many questions so that your experience benefits them with a lot many career goals as well. So my first question to you would be, what are the most important corporate lessons which each management student should retain in their life? Sure. I think uh, that's a very interesting interesting question. In fact, uh, just a few days back, I was speaking with another uh, B school on the same topic. Uh, there are many, while you can probably do a PhD thesis on what are the lessons that which probably you are not uh, learning in a B school, but get applied in a corporate, there are many of that. Uh, but if I had to pick up a few, uh, keeping in view the time constraint that we have, uh, I will pick up three uh, to start with. Uh, the first one I would say, uh, I call that as you need to set the rules of your life. Uh, when I say the rules of your life, I'll uh, give certain examples. Uh, because many times you plan your life in a particular way, you want to go in a particular way, you choose your career, you do certain things, even in the corporate life, there will be a project coming in, you're getting into a new boss, or the old boss continuing, whatever. Like, uh, there are a lot many variables, and most of the time people fail because uh, once you, while you are a kid, while uh, you are a child, then your number of variables that impact your life is very less. But once you get into that, unless you create the certain rules to handle these variables, then it becomes a problem. Okay. So the first thing I say, the first lesson I say that you need to set your rules of your life. And I call that you need to, I here I am, I am borrowing one term called biology of belief. Uh, that's from a book called Biology of Belief by Bruce uh, Lipton. And in fact, the book is here. Uh, uh, this is the book I am talking about. So uh, what I'm saying is you need to create your own biologies of belief. I'll give some examples from my life, what I do. Like, for example, I keep uh, always my back of the mind. There are three rules that I have set for myself. The first rule is I call that as, uh, which all of probably all of us we know, uh, that uh, that verse from the Gita, uh, which is called Karmena uh, Adhikarasthi Mahafalesu Kadachana, means, I'm sure you know the meaning, that you have the right only on the result, only on the work that you are going to do, not on the result. So that's the rule number one, that whatever comes to you, you really need to keep in your mind that, yes, this is what I'm going to do, and I should not be distracted. That's one rule for me. Second rule that I follow is... Uh, run after excellence again that you must have heard in the book uh, in the movie called uh, the three idiots run after excellence don't run after success success is going to follow uh, so that's the second rule for myself uh, so now similar it's not necessary ah, there is one more rule actually which uh, i always suggest people to watch this video from uh, steve jobs which is called the connect the dots uh -huh. and uh, that was uh, in uh, the, he delivered uh, the convocation speech uh, in stanford and uh, there's just 15 minutes video everyone uh, should watch that i that's my uh, suggestion is called the connect the dots. Uh, that means that you know not again it is somehow connected with the karmena adhikarasti. Like you keep on doing your keep on doing your job. You don't know uh, many times that you'll find that in your life that things are getting uh, not going on your way. Uh, maybe you uh, you are in a job. Job is not going well. May some problem with relationship. Problem with some family. So it doesn't matter. It says that in there's a reason why it is happening in future all the dots will get connected so like that these are these rules 
I follow, but not necessarily that everyone needs to follow that. So my first suggestion or my first advice would be find out your own rule, find out your own biology of belief and start following that. I have given the example of uh, the rules from my life. That's one. Uh, second is about uh, invest in yourself. Uh -huh. uh, if uh, when I say invest in yourself, uh, I'll just give a uh, certain example. Like for uh, if you look at, uh, look at today's market, if you look at today say uh, job market, and if I tell you the words called say cloud architect, blockchain architect, SEO specialist, digital manager, digital marketing manager, content writer, if you look back five years these positions never existed Definitely. that means the way the world is going the globally because it is uh, the way glo the whole world is connected and because of the speed the world is moving because of the uh, improvement in technology because of the speed the way people uh, people are people are inventing technology integrating technology it's very important that we are we remain cognizant of what technology or what kind of skill that we need to develop and invest in that. Like for example, we don't know maybe another five years, whatever you are learning today, it may be totally irrelevant. Please identify, keep on upgrading yourself. And related with that, uh, very important that always work on a life skill. Yes. When I'm saying life skill, like for example, today uh, the swimming is a life skill. Like you never forget that in life and it will always work for you. Like cycling is a life skill. Like for example, investing in stock market, that's a life skill. So that's point number two, invest in yourself. Point number one, I have said that find out your biology of belief. And the second suggestion is invest in yourself. And the third one and most critical one is uh, be passionate about whatever you are doing. And when I talk about passion, I always uh, remember this story. Uh, there were three people uh, that who were constructing a wall and there was a path there's a person passing by so he asked the first person that what are you doing he said yes i am just putting one brick on the top of another mm -hmm. and he asked the second person, what is that you are doing he said i'm constructing a wall and he asked the third guy he said i'm building a temple that's the passion i am talking about whatever you are doing put your heart and soul together it may be a job coming to you given by your boss you may or may not be liking it may be something that you have selected yourself but you may not be liking does not matter if you're putting if you're working on that put your heart and soul together you never know how the dots should be connected later so these are our three lessons uh, I, I i thought that i would pick up first find your biological belief second is invest in yourself and a third is be passionate about whatever you are doing. That's actually a very, very, very beautiful story. And so I really admire the library you have at your home. We all wish to have a book, a book corner or a library in our home, but we are never able to achieve it. I really love their background, really love and admire all those books you have. And I am damn sure it would, it would be, all of those books would be amazing. So it's, I really appreciate the corner in your house. So, so my next sure. question, my next question to you would be things important for us to retain in personal life as well. What would be that be? Uh, I say uh, it's uh, in fact, if you say in some time, once you start working, it becomes very difficult. Uh, it becomes really impossible to differentiate between your personal life and uh, uh, the corporate life which is not good actually you need to have a personal life and you need to have life in your corporate or a job but that's the job you are doing and you are you have a personal life where you have your family you have got your hobbies and everything and if i talk about personal life that uh, if someone what one should do is again i'll pick up the same thing a uh, few things are similar uh, so you need to understand what is your rule for your personal life like uh, are you going to carry your job uh, are you going to carry your work, uh, your workplace to your home, or you are going to live it there? So, like that one is the setting of the rule is very critical. Nice. And second is uh, the what I feel is most critical. Many times, once you get into the corporate, because 
there would be there would be pressure there would be pressure of performance pressure of so many things there would be uh, like uh, once you get into like once you get into your 30s you have a family once you get into 40 then you would have the family expanded then more and more variables would be coming in so it's very important that you know how to unwind and when i'm saying unwind there are different ways you need to identify how you are going to unwind uh, there are people like uh, then that, that's where I feel you need to addict it. I call that a positive uh, addiction. You need to positively addict it to something. Like you may start reading a book and that might be your hobby. Maybe you play something, say guitar or something, you are into, into music, uh, develop that as a skill. Or maybe you do art, develop that as a skill. Or maybe I'm based, I always feel is uh, get addicted to fitness and uh, once you get addicted to fitness, maybe you go to the gym or the yoga or whatever. Because please remember, once you are in a corporate, your organization takes care of everything. But if you are not well, yes, organization would support. But what who the people who are going to suffer of someone not getting well is the person himself and the family. So it's very critical. You need to have your focus on your health. So develop that as an addiction. So two things here. And a personal life, as I said, uh, you need to, again, set the rules for your personal life. And at the same time, you need to understand how to unwind, how to switch off. Maybe you go for a walk, whatever. It does not matter what you do. You need to identify the thing that clicks on you. Keep on trying. Something would click. And stick to that. Right, right. Definitely, sir. So you have enlightened us with a lot, many skills which we need to develop. And I guess all, everybody should develop, whether they are students or not. So these are skills to retain in life for long. But so how to develop these skills? We all know a certain set of skills or a list of skills, but how do we develop these? Right. So uh, I think it is about... Uh, uh, See, I, I always feel like if you think that from inside it, you need to do something, you do it. So I always feel uh, you should not wait for a compulsion to happen. Like uh, many times, like I spend uh, quite a lot of time uh, for my fitness and people say, what do you spend? I spend money and time both. And people say, why do you spend so much of money? See, my answer is that either you spend for your fitness or you spend for a doctor. One of that is going to happen. So same thing here. So you need to be conscious of yourself. You need to keep a goal in mind why you are doing it. And once you're very really clear on the goal, like I call that finding your own uh, North Star. You know the North Star uh, that used to be used yes. by all the ships in the sea to find out the direction. Once you know your North Star, like for example, why I'm spending on fitness or why I'm getting addicted in fitness because I want to remain fit so that my family, obviously I want to look good, I want to look fit so that my family do not suffer later. Or I, why I'm doing the music because I probably after two years, apart from my corporate job, I want to have my own album. So once you are clear on that, yes, this is my North Star because of what in the, which direction I'm doing, going, so you would do that. So it's about being conscious and finding your North Star so that you start practicing, practicing it. Definitely, sir. Definitely. I hope, I hope I am clear what I have said. Definitely, sir. You are. I am sure everybody watching this video right now would be understanding and retaining a lot many skill development list in their head and they would definitely work on those. So, so we have almost come to the end of the video. We have asked you a lot many questions. Uh, lastly, I would like you to share a line of motivation, one line of motivation which we ask all of our guests to share with our audience and all our viewers so what would that be so that would be again the same line that i had quoted to start with from the gita karmena adhikaraste mahale sukadacham keep doing your job don't think of the rest result is going to follow Definitely. I This interview was amazing. It's my personal favorite. I am sure everybody is going, looking forward to develop all these skills you just mentioned, mentioned and pretty sure everybody is going to love this video and you, of course. So thank you so much, sir, for taking our time. Thank you so much for giving us such wonderful information. Thank you, Shruti. Thank you so much. It, it was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, sir.